Brother Charles Scarlett. You know, God is watching all the time. Man can try to hide his feelings. Man can try to hide his thoughts. And man will try to hide his sin. But God is watching. And, and, and it's just like the songs, the words to the songs. When we know that we can't do it on our own, we can come to Jesus. It, it, and when you come to Jesus, it doesn't matter what the world thinks. It doesn't matter what the people say. It's when you come to Jesus and you give it to him and ask for forgiveness, it's forgiven. The blood is applied. And that blood is almighty. It's all powerful. The devil can't do anything with the blood. He can't cross the bloodline. He can't penetrate that bloodline. And this is what the world needs to know is no matter how bad you think you've been and, or how much sin there is in your life, once you repent from your heart, and you call upon the name of the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Please help me. And God, he doesn't care what your mouth says. He, that's not important. Because God's listening to your heart. Your mouth will tell lie after lie after lie. How many of you in here have promised God, I'll never do this again. You get me out of this, and I'll never do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We've all, we've all said things. And we've all made mistakes. So God, he doesn't, he said they, they worship me with their lying tongues. He said, they tell me they love me with their lips, but the hearts are far from me. And, and so he's listening to your heart. And, and, and this is the thing, and those joining by television, no matter where you've been, or no matter where you're at right now, and somewhere there's a, there's a prostitute watching. And, and you've been selling your body and, and you think that, well, I'm too far, I'm too low, I, I, I've done too much. But Jesus has put you in front of that television set to let you know that today he's drawing you. Today he wants to change your life. And if you'll just surrender to him, you'll never have to worry about your finances anymore. Because God will make a way. But you've got to call upon him. Drug dealer, alcoholic, drug addict. You may think I've gone too far. You might have even murdered. You might have killed or you may have raped or molested. No matter what your sin is, God has put you in front of that television set. He's placed you there for a reason. The blood is more powerful than any weapon that's formed in this world. The blood of Jesus Christ, he died on Calvary. Because man sinned in the Garden of Eden. There had to be a redeemer. Because every person, and a lot of people don't understand this. Why do we have to have Jesus? I'm going to try to take a minute just to explain it to you. God created Adam and put Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Told them to, to multiply, replenish the earth. And he gave them one commandment. Don't eat of the tree of good and evil, the tree of knowledge. One commandment, and they violated that commandment. They broke it because the, they listened to the devil. And, and because of that, man was cursed. A curse was placed on mankind. A curse was placed on this earth. Even the soil that we walk on was cursed. God said, I gave you one commandment and you disobeyed it. And because they disobeyed it, they looked at each other and found out that they were naked. And in order to get skins to cover them, to dress them, animals had to be sacrificed. Animals had to die to give up their skins. And God required a blood sacrifice because of man's sin. And all down through the years, millions and millions of animals had to be sacrificed because of man's sin under the old covenant. But in order for mankind to, to be set free from that bondage, a human sacrifice had to be given. And Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, came down, lived a perfect life for mankind. 
And, and Jesus said, I will be that ultimate sacrifice. And so he went to Calvary, bore the sins of the whole world on his back, took the sins of, of all the evil people and shed his blood for the remission of all sin. He was the ultimate sacrifice. And whosoever will believe upon him shall be saved. Will come out from under that curse. But the Bible tells us in Romans 3.18 or John 3.18. Uh, he says that if you believe not, you're condemned. You're still under this condemnation. You're condemned to go to hell. All mankind. And that's why we preach and teach Jesus Christ. And right now, if, if God is dealing with you and you've never truly give your heart to Jesus and the Holy Spirit's drawing you, I want you to say this prayer with me. Father God, I come before you today. I am a sinner. I have sin in my life. And I ask you, Father, to forgive my sins. Place them under the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For I believe in my heart and I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God and that you raised him from the dead. This moment, I invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart, to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. I ask you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's book of life and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that prayer, there's a number on the screen. Dial it. We'd love to know that you've just accepted Christ. We also want to send you some free literature. If you'd like Brother Charles Scarlett to come to your church to minister. Please dial the number on the screen. We've got, we've got the number up there for bookings. Dial that number, and, and he'll be happy to come and minister to you. And I'm asking you to pray for this ministry always. Support us whenever you can. Drop a, a little piece of money in the mail to help us keep going. And remember that Jesus is the answer around the world. God bless you.